Ling Ling. 3 over food, 2 1 over Louis Jesus. All the homies going down. What a tragedy. Pluto always plays with this air of confidence behind every button, every interaction. Toast, when I've spoken to him this event, I don't think he knows what it means to be scared of fighting someone. Yeah. He is just playing like he is destined to win. Yeah. So now you have two unstoppable forces clashing with two very different styles of play. And Bluto is playing gently. He is walking. And then all of a sudden, he mixes it up with an aggressive jump. And all he's looking for is that big opportunity, but excellent tech chase from Toast. Going to be using the fire arrow there. Had he tech rolled in, that could have been a big follow-up for Toast, but not going to be happening anytime soon. Tomahawk down tilt. Nice and safe. Keeping it really safe right now. Little looking for some sort of an opening kill, but finally going to have Toast off stage. Dara, the name of the game here is going to be control. Who can control all of that space? Who can control the tempo? of this set. And it's going to be a tall order from both ends because on the side of Toast, you have so much projectile pressure that just acts as a hit confirm into stuff. And yeah. then you lose all your stage control and potentially a stop. It's time to control, it's time to mansplain, and it's time to manipulate, my friend. Because right now, Toast is occupying the stage so well, able to get the double hit of the bike. Ludo coming back on so aggressively. Up is not going to be able to kill thanks to some good DI and Wario's heftiness, but goes all the way out there, a little bit over committal. Uh, but then good old Gumbling up oh. Not functional as always. f is going to be able to do it though. You know, I think for once, then it not functioning works really well for those. Because on the other side of control, you have Lutini Wario that maneuvers in the air so well yep. and commands respect on the ground so well. Lutini not wasting any time before evening up the stock. And given how much opening oh. up this set looks to be very even. He uh, fallen on a multi hits all day. That back didn't connect. Toast could have gotten a huge punish. Gluto going to be respecting the end leg on down. And once again, a little bit deceptive. Going to be finding that jump and finally just using how active uh, that Boyle is, how big of a hitbox it is too, to be able to clank with it. But He's not been able to find any of his like big Ludo stuff, right? No like double hit neutral up up till shenanigans. Nothing coming out yet. And I think the reason is because Toast is playing at such a controlled mid to close range. Very unorthodox when you consider typical zoning characters. Oh. But a dive out deep and the chomp manages the stock and the return because of the bite. Excellent play from Bluto. He's in a fantastic spot. I saw him do that like OD times, like in doubles. This is the first time I've actually seen a connect. And wow, that is just able to annihilate stocks like there is no tomorrow. Now all of a sudden, Toast is playing through my back foot. He needs a down tilt. That's going to be the up here, but not even on the platform. Is that going to be able to kill? I believe Ooh. that was... Ooh. Wow. All right, hot potato game. Toast always wins those. And again, even game. Just gonna be jumping, waiting for that up tilt, looking for it. Because you already know, as soon as Galuto finds that up tilt, he can take stocks like there's no tomorrow. A little bit of an anti out of shield option, pushes out a little bit too far, and now this is host advantage. This is his punish. He wasn't ready for the lock. Falling there, managing to lock on that platform, actually threw off Toast yeah. in his tempo. He was probably looking for like a strong hit of it. And then just like ended up hitting uh, the move a little bit too late. Good boomerang into Florida, just keeping Gluto out. I like the fact that he backed off because he couldn't get like a grab that's true there. He didn't want to overcommit, but this jab block could be Ooh. brutal. Jab down so get your grab, follow up, but nothing more to come of it besides total stage control. And now Excellent Toast fully Florida. aware. You already know what Gluto's looking for. He wanted like a waft off stage to be able to punish Uppy, to be able to hit through the multi hits. Speaking of waft off stage, that one is going to whiff. Gluto commits a little bit too much. He's off stage. He's in the corner. He does make it back on because you got to respect Wario's distance. It's still quite a percentage deficit for Toast to walk off of. And the forward air from out yep. deep manages to secure game one. Gluto did exactly what he needed to in this matchup, which is not connecting walls, which is not, you know, like connecting all these big combos, but exploiting what makes Young Link not based. It's that stage presence. It's that stage yep. presence that Wario is able to command at every inch of the screen. You saw how deep Gluto mm -hmm. went multiple times. You Young saw Link how recovery effective. bad. Young Link recovery is of straight course. up not good. At the end of the day, that is the great equalizer that balances all of the links. You know, with the occasion of Link on occasion with bom funny little bomb recoveries, Uppy has a big old vulnerable, you know, blind spot at the head. It's just a matter that no matter how well a Young Link, normal Link, Moon Link, no matter how well they can adjust their recovery, yep. it's still predictable. 
And it's so predictable. This angle is still going to be more or less the same. And if you can have an active enough hitbox, all it takes is that one gentle shove, one down A, one chomp, one forward A. That's all that it's going to take. Game number two between these two. Um, I feel like one really big thing for Toast is actually finding those kills a little bit sooner. Gluto kept on living off the top. I don't know how good of a stage PS2 is. I'm very interested to see why Toast would bring it back. And honestly, oh, good catch there. Look at that damage. Yeah, that catch was impeccable. That was looking immaculate. Toast backing off a little bit. Gluto jumping in really patiently, playing really slowly. I gotta say, his ability to maneuver around these projectiles is just top class. When you consider the just the, the raw stats behind Wario, it makes all the sense in the world that he's able to navigate that airspace with such finesse. Yep. And Gluto puts it to such good use. Just gonna be waiting a little bit, gonna be jumping into that down air, mashing in a little bit too soon. The fire air hitbox actually gonna be um, coming out before the neutral air, or the forward air, excuse me. Now Gluto just dashing in, waiting for that opening. Gets only the later dash attack, but I like the attempt nonetheless. Occupying plenty of that space, but he's gonna get hit for his efforts by the up special. And yep. again, the damage manages to find itself relatively even. And you want to know something, Dara? I just considered the fact that Young Link a bit on the lighter end, oh! and Toast still manages to live and manages to find a lead. In fact, yeah, that air dodge, not not the best choice. But you know what? Gluto is still able to even it up without taking another hit. And you already know Wario low percent combos. He's looking for it, and he finally is able to get a 35, 48, and even more of climbing. Damn, you got to hold that. You That's a whole that. zero to hundred. And I was just half walked. So he might even have it by his last stop, too. Yeah, no, the tempo control has just been superb from Boots. I mean. And what is an aspect of tempo control we haven't even gotten a chance to talk about? Toast went for the drag down forward and into a down tilt. Because of hitbox moving, he was spaced a little bit too far back, and Gluto was able to get the shield out before the down tilt hit far enough. A little bit of an unfortunate interaction, but now Toast is stuck at the ledge. Good catch on the jump too, but that's not going to kill quite yet. The way that Gluto's been using Bike this set has been remarkable. How yep. often he's taking advantage of the multiple hitboxes and occupying space to answer for Toast's projectile. Oh, we're eating so good with this set. Yeah, oh my god. So what Gluto. A fallout on the jump with the back is now Gluto has no incentive to approach. He could slow down the pace of the match. Well, you know what? One neutral A, two neutral A's, and look at all of this damage, my friend. 51 guaranteed. Well, you like off of like a single reset. His punish game is immaculate. Just been ridiculous playing left and right, but Toast is still hanging in there. It's quite a deficit right now, and I'm starting to think the stadium pick is really starting to backfire because when you consider the length of the stage, the way that Lutini is able to maneuver around it just seems like Wario's better suited here compared to how Young Link can typically control space with his projectiles and swift normals. Okay, gonna be getting the up and once again, the ceiling of PS2 not really coming into play for the Toast. Gluto gonna be living for a little bit longer. The question is, will he be able to get even more extra credit out of this? Goes through the neutral, maybe not fully confident, and Gluto just whiffing another walk. Maybe he'll get a third, who knows? There's a chance for him to have quarter or half charge, depending on how slowly Toast keeps this match going. But it is gonna be moving along on the 1-1 stock count. Yeah, 101%. This is looking a little bit difficult for Toast. I mean, Young Link has a lot of really good low percent combos. I feel like Toast has just not been hitting a lot of the big stuff. Gluto has been getting away from Boomerang quite often and falling out of so many multi-hits. There we go. There's the platform combos that Toast has needed. And look at the damage that's coming out of it. This oh, is really the jungle situation tilt? that Toast hasn't been able to execute yet. Now, let's talk about that. I don't want to be you know. I do not like that back here. Now, granted, what probably happened is like, okay, this is my fastest button that I can mash out of, so I'm no longer, um, you know, so I'm no longer like tumbling, right? Right. The issue is you are not far enough to be able to press that. One really big thing about disadvantage is just like knowing how far you got sent out. If you got sent all the way off stage or put into like a super high juggle, you have the freedom and the ability to mash out of disadvantage. Correct. Toast was in no position to be able to do so. He was still on stage where Gluto could still threaten with a jump in. He saw that mash out and was like, hmm, why are you pressing all of these buttons? It wasn't Toast's turn to play the game yet. Yeah. And everyone but Toast knew that. Yeah. Toast pressed a little bit too soon now. Granted, he was coming alive a little bit. He was finding his follow-ups. One thing is, he's also not getting any, like, 
like sweet spot for the Moulin kids, right? That's where like younglings find a lot of the damage. That's where they find a lot of keep away game. Gluto is making all of that air acceleration work for him. He's making his four leader work for him because he is just putting out all of these active hitboxes that are then denying um, all of these projectiles. It's just a sense of total control that Young Link doesn't have the answers to. And while Toast is doing his best to adapt with how he utilizes his projectiles, I feel like there's still a lot yeah. that he has to figure out around. Otherwise, Puto walks away with the 30 and a handshake. But a change of scenery, I do think, is a very important distinction for the games one and two to three as we go to town and see. Yeah, this is going to be a little bit interesting. I mean, Young Link also loves killing off the side. A lot of F tilts, a lot of four leaders as well. But now, okay, he's going to be scouting out the landing, able to get the out of shield punish, and starting a bit of a juggle for himself. Just the amount of active space on town gives a lot of leeway to the escape options yes. that Young Link has. And that, I think, is something really important when you consider how deadly Gluto has been when he's on the hunt. Yeah, a bit of a misplay there. Composed, he was thinking that rising back here is going to hit Gluto, but Wario's a little bit too short and stout uh, for something like that to connect. Now going to be landing, looking for that anti -air. Big up B. This could be big damage. And he hesitates oh, no. a little bit too much. Granted, Gluto was hella ambiguous. Uh, with his drift. No, yeah, he, and that's the thing. Wario gets to move around so freely in the air that Gluto gets oh. that. Ah, uh, going in with a little bit too soon. Toast delayed it until the last possible second. So he's back onto the stage, jumping, gonna be getting his landing called out. Yep. And then once again, buttons out of disadvantage and maybe not the most, uh, you know, amazing places. Gluto's just finding those back hills over and over and over again. Against most characters, you do get that luxury of being able to feign hitting with Fire Arrow or a Nair or no buttons, just tomahawking and waiting for the option. You don't get that against Wario because of how fluidly he can move Ooh. from controlling the air to all of a sudden getting prepared to catch your landings. I did not like that bike to decide too much. He kind of gave up a lot of stage. He took a couple of hits for it. But one issue, once again, that's coming into play, Toast's kill power, Youngling's kill power is not necessarily the best here. He's been struggling to get any substantial hits. Meanwhile, when Wario lands that one hit, it's gonna pack a punch. Ooh, bit of a misplay from Gluto there once again. That could have been a pretty big out of shield punish. But another Uppy gonna be setting up another edge guard, another ledge trap here. What's gonna be the play? He just waits. Bait's an option. Toast is swinging a bit too much. He's, uh, Toast is doing all the button pressing for Gluto. All he has to do is wait for his opportunity to strike. Yeah. Playing on second beat has worked so well for Gluto and fits so well into Wario's kit, but holding a bomb managed to save Toast. Now, the question was, was that intentional? Was that the most that. Mensa play of all time? Or was no. Toast a little bit lucky? Does not matter. Able to find the bomb into the back here. Good check on the direction. He took a second to react. It was like, you know what? I'm plus enough on hit. I can take my sweet time with this. Ooh, the backmost hit of forward air manages to give Toast further control of the stage, forcing to the platform. But Muto moving off of it fantastically. And another upbeat out of pressure. Uh oh, you got a bike coming your way. Jump. Yo, dropping down Ooh. double jump forward and back on like that, that was a commitment. Toast, you know what? He was able to put on a lot of damage to stock. He's playing really, really well. The question is, can he take this home? He's not out of it just yet, especially if he maintains the pressure that he's been doing in this game great. And now we're starting to see something that I've been waiting for Toast to execute. Putting the bombs really high up and forcing Clutney to pick and choose where he moves, otherwise he will die for it. Yeah, finally gonna be able to get that down so that he was looking for you this whole time, but... Game. Lol. Few things in life are certain. Death is one of them. And Clutney is making damn sure that it took one little mistake and all of that momentum that Toast built up brought to a screeching halt as Gluto Damn. moves on with a 3-0 over Toast. That was so funny. I would, I would see that whole stock again if possible. <laughs> just, just off of a, just a new trailer up at 20, what? Hey, that was also not the prettiest of DI. And it Young is Link's, Town and City and, and it's Young, Young Link. Link. Yeah. It seems like it was the perfect story of all of the planets aligned. Toast was not destined know. to win this one. The calendar dates all matched up. It was Doomsday for Toast. That was, oh man, that was tough. But I, I do think Toast really played like as best as he could in that yeah. game three. The stage switch worked out perfectly for him. We saw exceptional adaptations to the yeah. aerial play. And that's where you have to check yourself mm -hmm. when you fight a player like Glutini. Uh, regardless if it's Gluto himself, any extremely good Wario, you know is going to be controlling space in the air just by existing. Yeah.